Is this new normal making it very hard for you to just communicate with people? I mean, video calling, right? Is the new normal. Well, here are my top 10 video call essentials that I think you should put in your cart. Did you get that? Did you hear me? Am I, wait, no, are you muted? Did you hear me? Hey guys, it's me, Amanda, and welcome back to my channel. This new normal has really, really taken a toll on how we communicate with everyone around us. Whether it's meetings, reaching out to loved ones, hosting, whether it's Zoom or any other online platform, and of course, doing your home workouts. There could be a million things you wanna do, but you're not sure how to put all those things together. Or maybe you have a setup and you wanna upgrade, or the person you're talking to may not have the most ideal setup. Guys, these are the top 10 video call essentials that I think that you can put in your cart. And hey, it doesn't have to be today. It can be tomorrow, a week, or a month from now. The point is, there are so many sales out there, you can always look for the best deal that suits you. The first thing on my list is, of course, a tripod with a smartphone holder. And the reason why I think this is super important is because a tripod is stable. You can pack it up easily and take it with you in different parts of the house or room, whatever you're in, and you want to be able to have your meeting there. I know how difficult it is to kind of like level your phone using whatever it is you can find around you. You're just leaning it and whatnot, or you're trying and using this thing back here, sometimes it's not the best because it can collapse and then your meeting is cut and especially if you're trying to do a presentation, it might not be the most ideal surface. And the reason why I don't have one to show you right now is because it's being used over in our Sparta Live classes. So I'm gonna have to add a new one to my cart right now. If you guys aren't sure which tripods to get because there are a million out there, I have links to some that I can recommend below. They go from 35 millimeters all the way to higher, higher stands. And I think those are good because if you have them on a table or you're putting it on the floor, it's not gonna limit your movement or your meeting. The second thing I think you should have in your cart will be the wireless earphones. Now these are both Bluetooth and I find them to be super easy to use. You can just connect them to your phone or your laptop or whatever, your tablet, and then you're free to move around and still have a very successful meeting. The one thing that you don't want is, you know, you accidentally sneeze or you drop something and you're about to pick it up and then the cord is attached to the device that you're using to film you and then everything falls down. It is just a complete disaster. A lot can go wrong like that and you know these days video call conferencing can go up to one to two hours I'm not kidding so what you want is to have the liberty to move around and still hear the person that you're talking to most Bluetooth earphones come with microphones so it's very simple you can just continue and go about your day and you can still talk on the phone even without a an external mic so I like using my wireless earphones when I do Sparta Live online calisthenics classes. It's about an hour and a half and I, I need these because I want to hear my coach but I don't want to be restricted or have to pick up the earphone when I want to hear what he's saying or when he's giving instruction, right? And sometimes it's raining and there's so much external noise. Most wireless earphones these days come with noise cancelling anyway or noise isolation and it's really helpful because I can still hear what he's saying and still continue the workout. So it's as if he's coaching me and he's right there. I would much rather use Bluetooth earphones rather than Bluetooth speakers because you really don't want that feedback going on. The noise cancelling earphones that are already Bluetooth really make sure that your chances of that happening are very low if not non-existent. So if you don't have yourself a pair of earphones, don't worry because I have some recommendations down below. Don't forget to check those out. They are affordable and they have very good audio quality and they have excellent reviews. So check them out below. And the third essential that I think you should have in your kit is a microphone. And the reason why I think the mic is absolutely critical is because this is what compensates for the lack of human interaction. We're so used to being around people, reading their body language, seeing all of those little nuances and those things that now we may not see because we're watching them from a screen. So having a device that will make sure that what you're saying is coming out loud and clear, I think a microphone can really help with that. If you're not sure which mic to get, this is a very renowned brand, it's called Rode, but if you're not into shotgun microphones and you just kind of want to keep it simple and low key, then you can use a lavalier. Again, I'll link some down below. This brand is called Boya, I really like it. It's very reasonably priced and the audio quality from 
whatever mic you're using now, I'm sure when you get up there and use a Boya, it will be much, much clearer. And the fourth essential I think you should have in your kit is a ring light. Why? Because you want to be seen. The clearer you are coming across the screen, the better it is for the person watching you and the better it is for whatever you're trying to say and the message and the presentation is coming out a lot clearer. So it's important, especially when it gets a little bit darker, if you're doing a lot of graveyard shifts or whatever and you're doing calls um, late at night and you don't have enough light, this kind of keeps it professional. You can actually tell when a person is using a ring light because there's a little bit of a circle in the eye when you're watching. Even makeup vloggers, you can see it. You can see what kind of light they're using, especially if it's round, you'll know it's a ring light. But it is so much better than being in a dark room. 100%. You don't want that kind of setting. So if you're not sure which ring light to get, I have some recommendations down below. Check those out. They go from 200 pesos to well above 200 pesos. So it's your choice. You can do your research. And most of them are dimmable and a lot of them can change the different kinds of effects that it has on the ring light, whether it's cool or more warm. It's up to you, but the choices are there. So please feel free to take a look at them. So the fifth essential I think you should have in your kit is a power bank right here. I have one for my smartphone. And this other one I have right here can power tablets, laptops, and smartphones. And it's really cool because one time, just a month ago, I was in a Zoom meeting and I was actually hosting that Zoom meeting. And guess what? There was a brownout, so nothing around me was lit. Not only that, I was in a dark room, so it was really scary. I just saw that there are a lot of devices here that you can use the USB to connect and it's super helpful because with a power bank as strong as this, which is 27,000 mAh, then that can power almost anything. It can power your smartphone up to seven times and then it can even power the laptop for up to 16 hours. Guys, when you're in a video call conference, you don't wanna lose power. So having a power bank this strong, you're sure that you can power even a ring light and your laptop at the same time. Everyone can use a power bank. The stronger they are, the better it is, the more convenient it is. So I'll link a few down below, check those out. And I'll even link this one that I have here down below. Number six is the outlet surge protector. And I think this is super important because as mentioned earlier, if a brownout happens, you kind of don't want your devices to malfunction because of that. Electrical fluctuations can damage devices and you don't want that to happen, especially if they're very important and you've invested in it. So an outlet surge protector can help augment that. So in my cart, I've already added the Bavin 3 outlet surge protector power supply with six USB ports because a lot of things can be powered now with just USB ports. And of course, I really like it because if a brownout happens, I'm sure that my devices are not going to conk out or start to malfunction because of that. But there are other options. I'll also link a few and you might actually have them at home and you just didn't know they were called outlet surge protectors. So the links that I put down below, you can see whether or not it is available in your house already. The seventh essential I think you should have in your kitchen it is the ergonomic chair similar to what I am sitting on right now. It cannot be avoided that Zoom meetings last forever and ever or feels like it because you're uncomfortable in what you're sitting on. Having the ergonomic chair prevents all of those things from happening and can even prevent injury. Injury in the sense that you could have acute back pains, you could, have, you could develop lower back pains if you're sitting on it a lot and you have bad posture. The ergonomic chair just kind of ensures that those things don't happen to you because it keeps your posture nice and straight for as much as it could. Ergonomic chairs, this is kind of a touchy subject for me because they can go from 500 pesos, which is $10, or it can go to $3,000. You choose whatever your budget is, but it is absolutely insane. The choices go from here to there and popular choices these days include wire mesh here in the back and having a nice cushion that can support your butt. And uh, it, it really boils down to preference, whatever you think you might need, but make sure that it is good quality and has that lumbar support for your back. So the eighth essential that I think you should have in your list is the desk. And the desk seems like, why? I can just use any table. Wrong. Well, yes, you can. But for me, this kind of table that I'm recommending down below, and you should really check it out, is basically for video call use. And it's not for eating. It has everything that you'll want 
for the video call so that you don't have to keep shuffling things around. It has the phone stand. It has enough uh, surface area for your laptop. It has a tablet stand. You can have everything there that you need to use for, for your video call and you don't really need to be worrying about dropping anything or something not fitting. So check that out. The ninth essential, and you might probably think is the most important essential in this list, is a stable internet connection. Yes, stable internet connection. Everyone's using it now and it, it gets a bit choppy. So investing in something like a, a pocket Wi-Fi specifically for your video calls, Stable internet connection will also ensure that things are not lost in a second. You know, when I'm talking to people and then they're about to say something important, I have no idea why sometimes that's when the connection cuts off. So as silly as it may seem, there is no line if it's not on. So having online is important and it is completely dependent on a stable internet connection. Pocket Wi-Fi is probably one of those things that aren't as common yet. People aren't buying that because they think they have enough data on the phone. But in this house, like the house that I'm in, and I'm sure in other households, you're not always getting your LTE connection as consistent as possible. So having your own smart bro or a, a globe tattoo, whatever device that you can use at home, at least you have a separate source where you can use that for video calls. I'll link a few that you can get online down below, so check those out. So the 10th and the final thing that I think you should have in your kit is the smartphone. And there are a lot of smartphones out there that are mid-tier price that already get the job done very well. They have the speaker, they have the Bluetooth capabilities if you want to connect it to your earphones, they have good screens, and they have a great camera. All of these make for a good video call conference. And if you have a PC and you're like, I don't have a webcam, then you can actually use your smartphone as a webcam. There is a way to do that and we've done it before. But if you're looking to up your game and you need something more powerful, then I recommend purchasing a laptop. The one that I'm using right now is the Huawei MateBook X Pro and it is their flagship laptop. It is really, really pricey, but it does get the job done. In fact, I noticed that my productivity level went up uh, when I started using this laptop, but I didn't think that it would make a difference switching from my other laptop to this. But hey, it really did make the difference because it's faster, it's more powerful, it has high-speed internet, and it has, um, I think, a 5.0 Bluetooth, which is super, super quick if you wanna do file transfers. I do have a video on that, guys. Don't forget, just click on the video or I'll link it down below, and you can find out more about the MateBook X Pro if you're really looking to up your game in terms of power for video call conferencing. But that's all the time I have for now. I'm so happy that I made this video. It really took me a lot of time to do the research and things that I feel I use that I think you could use for your essentials um, for video calling, and it is the new normal, so I do have to say that you might not need it today, but you might have a friend or a loved one that might need some of these essentials. So please share this video with them. And if you found any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help. All my links down below are affiliate links. So that means that I earn a tiny commission from the things that you purchase, even if it's not related to um, any of the things that I mentioned and you decide to go with another option, that is absolutely fine. But it will help this channel a lot and I will super appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Um, it was so much fun. Let me know if there are other things that you want me to do, other videos and other content that you want me to produce, I'd be glad to see if I can do those for you. But other than that, thank you again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!